I demanded water here. Aquafina, where is my Aquafina? Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I'm Layla, and these are your news and announcements for Wednesday, October 27th. A reminder on the dress code here at the islands. We do not allow professional sports team hats or attire to be worn on campus. You have been reminded for 10 weeks. Now as we start quarter two, if you wear it on campus, it will be confiscated and only returned to a parent or guardian. Want to show your support for your school? Feel free to wear a solid color in any of these choices. Black, blue, gold, yellow, white, or silver. Thanks for your support, Raiders. Questions on the dress code? Ask any administrator. Headed to a new class, but not sure where the room is? Check out this campus map for reference. A reminder, if you have a class in any X room, you are headed out to the tennis courts. And now some new procedures on the OC campus for quarter two. Hello, Raiders students, families, and staff. As we prepare to begin quarter two, we have updated the procedures and policies in place for all students, specifically those taking classes at our satellite Oxnard College campus. These policies go into effect beginning Monday, October 25th. Number one, students will no longer need to complete the health screening in the OC app. When students exit the bus at Oxnard College, they will receive an orange wristband, which must be worn at all times. This lets us know who our students are as they transition between campuses to make sure they're in the correct place. Number two, to allow for enough time to transport students on buses, they will be released early from their Oxnard College classes. Periods one and two will be released five minutes early and period three will be released 10 minutes early to allow students to get back for lunch. Students must use the bus transportation to travel between campuses throughout the day. Period four will not be let out early and there will not be immediate bus transportation to CI. Students will be able to walk home if necessary. Number three, restroom use. Due to limited supervision on the OC campus and recent vandalism, all students at Oxnard College will need to sign out when they leave class to use the facilities. Only one student will be allowed out at a time. Number four, the food truck. Students are not allowed to visit the food truck on the OC campus before third period or before fourth period. When students arrive to campus, they should go directly to their class. Food is, not also, is also not allowed in the classrooms. Due to masking and COVID restrictions, eating is not allowed in classrooms and teachers may ask students to dispose of their food before entering the room. Number five, driving to campus. Students who wish to drive their own vehicles to campus must complete a registration form during the first week of quarter two and provide photo proof of their valid driver's license. Students may not drive to or from Oxnard College during periods two and three. If permission is granted by parents for a job, uh, practice, or family obligation, students may drive to period four at Oxnard College. Driving will not be allowed until November 2nd to allow for us making passes for student IDs. And finally, number six, dress code. This applies to all CI students. Hats and sports jerseys with professional sports teams are not allowed on campus. Admin will confiscate these items and take them to the Channel Islands High School front office. Parents or guardians will need to come to campus to pick these items up. They will not be returned directly to students. Please remember we are visitors at the Oxford College campus and these policies are in place to be respectful of their facilities and to keep us all safe. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact the Channel Islands High School front office or administration team. 
Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in quarter two. And we're back. Next week is Red Ribbon Week. Take the pledge to be drug free. Brought to you by CAHS Peer Resource. Not only is it Red Ribbon Week, but it is also Spooky Spirit Week. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Don't crack your back, wear anything but a backpack. And Friday is wear a costume. Peer Resource is proud to announce that we will be having our second annual Drug and Alcohol Prevention Fair today in the quad during lunch. Are you an 11th or 12th grader looking for a college prep elective that meets the G elective requirement, provides job experience, looks impressive on resumes and college apps, and is also a fun change of pace from sitting in a desk all period? Consider library science. Visit Ms. Tasuda in the library for more info. Seniors, make sure to ch <laughs> Seniors, make sure you check your student square to log and register for grad night. Check student square or use the version on the screen for a QR code for you to create your own account and make payments for Magic Mountain on June 3rd. And now we go to a message from Principal Ramos and the CI counseling staff. Greetings Raiders, I'm Ms. Ramos, your principal. As we close the first quarter and welcome in the second quarter, I'd like to share a few announcements. The first is regarding dismissal periods. For dismissal periods, if you have that on your schedule, that means you don't actually have a physical class during that period. If you have dismissal period first period, that means you actually don't have to come onto campus until 10 o'clock. If you're able to stay home and come to campus and arrive at 10 o'clock, that is ideal. If you're not, that's absolutely okay. Arrive on campus at 8.30 a.m. and we will welcome you. You will be in the quad, and in the quad, we have tables, chairs, and tents for you to be able to continue learning. If you have dismissal periods two and three on your schedule, this means that you will have dismissal period in our quads. In our quad, again, we'll have a learning situation where you can sit and catch up on work with your peers or individually. If you have dismissal fourth period, this means that you are able to leave campus at 2.05, which is the end of third period. If this is the case, then you will need a dismissal pass. In regards to dismissal passes, actually everyone will need one. Dismissal passes will be available on Monday, October 25th. If you have dismissal on your schedule, you will need to go to the front office and at any of our windows, we will be able to distribute your dismissal pass. Please be very careful with it because you will need it every single day. The second announcement is around Oxnard College. If you find on your schedule one of your rooms or multiple rooms is located at OCLA or OCLS, this means that one of your classes is on the Oxnard College campus. If you do in fact have a class at Oxnard College, you will be transported to the to the community college on one of our buses. Busing services will be available for every single period to Oxnard College and back to our main campus. Our third and final announcement is around safety. Channel Islands High School has a phenomenal culture and we want to maintain that. If you see something, please say something. A threat to an individual student or a group is truly a threat to all of us. Please make sure that you share any information that is vital to maintaining the safety of our campus. Our community is phenomenal and we want to maintain that. Thank you for everything that you've done, all of the hard work during quarter one. I look forward to greeting you into quarter two. Hello Raiders, this is Mr. Lara with the Counseling Department. I hope you guys finish uh, the first quarter strong. And as we move into the second quarter, we want to remind you guys of some things uh, regarding counseling. Um, if you guys are looking to make schedule changes, uh, please make sure that you uh, reach out to us. And a lot of you have been reaching out to us through email. But if you haven't gotten a response, uh, we encourage you guys to come to the front office and make an appointment with Ms. Sanchez. Um, or on your lunch, nutrition, or after school, you guys can feel free to walk into the office and see if we are available 
it's because sometimes we do not get to our emails because we are being inundated by teachers and everybody else. It's probably easier for you to schedule an appointment with Ms. Sanchez. Another thing is uh, we do not do schedule changes for uh, switching of dismissal periods or switching teachers. Um, so just please be aware if that's what you're requesting, um, unless you have a really good reason, you will be denied. Thank you, Raiders, and best of luck into this new quarter. And we're back. Students and staff, please use the form on your screen to access services for the new Rincon Wellness Center. New Raider gear is in stock. Visit the student store to make your purchases. Hoodies are $35, hats are $20, and t-shirts are $10. Upcoming events. October 29th, Halloween Costume Contest. October 27th through the 29th is a haunted house. November, Harvest Music Festival. CI musicians and singers start getting prepared. More info to come. Sporting news. Good afternoon, Raiders. This Friday will be the last home game of the season against Ventura High School. Please come out and support. Use the link below to buy your tickets ahead of time. Anyone may use the link below to purchase game tickets ahead of time. All tickets may be purchased with any electronic device. You must redeem the ticket at the gate with a mobile device, cell phone. Similar to past games, only the one gate near the scoreboard maintenance area will be open. Career Center News. Do you need help finding and or applying for a job? Want to know what employers are looking for or what you would be or what you should be prepared for with your interview. We are hosting job readiness workshops virtually this school year, one Tuesday each month from October to April. Register now at bit.ly CI Job Ready if you are interested in joining any of these workshops. The Channel Islands Scholarship Hub through the College and Career Center serves as a destination for Channel Islands high school students and their families to search for scholarship information. Visit our Channel Island Scholarship Hub website. Questions, comments, or concerns? Reach out to Coach Rock at the College and Career Center office or email him at mark.rockwadon at oxnardunion.org. That's all for today, Raiders. Want to be on the show? You need to get your team, class, or club information and news out? Want us to show your photos? Email them to cipictureoftheday at gmail.com. Have a great day, Raiders. What's poppin', gamers? I'm Joseph from CI Live, and I like to just talk about my segment where I ask you, or no, I take questions from you guys, any comments, questions, or even suggestions if you want to add in or change to the school. Uh, we also want more pictures. Please, we're desperate. We need more pictures from you guys. Email at cipictureoftheday at gmail.com, and we'll gladly add them to our show. Thank you.